So this question starts off with this system of equations here. The question says, which of the following graphs in the xy plane represents the equations in the given system? So in essence, this is kind of like a diagram question, although there isn't a diagram in the question itself. All of our answer choices are visual. They're all graphs. All we need to do here is make sure we understand how to read a slope-intercept form of an equation, of, or of a line, I'm sorry, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. I like to go with b as my first visual cue. For instance, for this first equation here, my y-intercept should be negative 3. So I'm looking at my graphs here, and I do see a y-intercept of negative 3 for this line here. Um, for this one here, and also here, and also here. So that worked out for all of them. And then this one is negative 7, which I also probably will see for all of them. Yes, negative 7. So I was hoping to use that to maybe cross out or cancel out some answers. But they all, the, the two y-intercepts are represented in each of the options. How about the slope? So let me erase these points now. The slope that goes along with the negative 3 y-intercept should be negative 1 half. So it should be going down and to the right and pretty broad. So this does look good, right? This is 2, maybe down 1 over 2. So this one checks off. For this one, the slope looks like it's down 2 over 1. So that's negative 2 slope. So b is gone. And then for this one that has a negative 3, it is also down 2 over 1. So that's negative 2 as a slope. So C is gone. And this one with its negative 3 is down 1 over 2. So that's negative 1 half. So D is still there. So based upon the slope, based upon the slope of the first equation at least, I was able to cross out two answer choices. And notice I'm just literally using the, you know, it's not a great photo here for these answer choices, but it's basically like graph paper, and I'm just utilizing those unit boxes to count my rise over run to determine my slope, okay? Now let's try for, um, so again, so B is gone, C is gone. So now I'm gonna erase this so I can just see for A and D, and let's use a different color, green. So for the line that has a negative seven slope, like this one, it should have a negative 5, I'm sorry, negative 7 y-intercept. It should have a negative 5 slope. Hmm, but this line is, has a positive slope, right? Like this is going up and to the right. So A is gone, which means D has to be the right answer. But let's just make sure as well. So a negative 7 slope. Um, again, I'm going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the left 1. Perfect. So because I'm going up 5, for my rise over run, for my slope, I'd have 5. But then I'm going to the left once, which means negative 1, which means my slope is negative 5, like I want it to be. And therefore, choice D is the correct answer here.